What is the GMO farming mod, and is it right for you? This guide goes over a few of the features it adds to 7 Days to Die, and should help to paint a picture of whether or not it's something you'd be interested in. At Living Off the Land Level 3, you unlock the ability to craft the hotbox, which is a new workstation you can use to enhance seeds. Enhanced seeds pr produce twice the number of crops as the standard variants, but they also remove the chance that you'll receive a plant, uh, a seedling, at the end of the growth cycle and after harvest. But enhanced seeds are necessary to add traits, which are included, as you see here. At living off the land level 4, you'll unlock the ability to add one of those traits to any plant. At living off the land level 5, you'll unlock the ability to add a second trait, so long as it's compatible with the plant and with the first trait. Some of these traits are considered trap traits. And so, because of that, displaying the description of the trait inside the growing plant would be self-defeating. If we have an explosive pumpkin, for example, we don't want a player to notice that. We want the player to be exploded. Trap traits such as explosive only take effect once you reach the final stage of growth. You'll notice that the time required from tripping the the plant, tripping the mine, to explosion is quite short, and this is intentional. The goal is to make sure that you can use plants like these to catch players off guard if they're sprinting through a field or riding through it with a motorcycle. You'll also notice that it doesn't do any damage to the growing pumpkin just next to it. Also intentional, the goal is not to damage blocks, but to only damage entities. And so, of course, this can be triggered by contact, like I just demonstrated. Uh, it can also be triggered by melee or by arrows or bolts. It cannot be triggered by bullets uh, because the mine components are underneath in the root system. And just like with any explosive, uh, such as a mine, there is a 33% chance that another explosion, explosion nearby will cause it to trigger. And here we have thorny plants. Thorny plants will cause you harm as long as you stand within their range. Explosive and thorny plants can have their traits doubled up. So you can craft explosive, the explosive trait into them twice, or you can craft a thorny trait into them twice as well to enhance their effects. If you missed the way that plants worked in A19, here's the solution for you. Each of the renewable traits applied to the plant will cause the plant to return to a seedling form after harvest. If you wish, you didn't have to plant quite so many plants uh, in order to get the crops that you're looking for. You could instead choose to enhance them with the bonus trait. Enhancing with the bonus trait twice will cause it to turn into a bountiful bonus. And of course, uh, that crop yield range is nothing to laugh at. Many players don't realize this, but you can actually plant indoors without a glass roof. You just need to make sure that you're placing the plant very close to a door or a hatch. Light does leak through these ever so slightly, but the growth rate is damaged by this. Uh, not having access to direct sun reduces your growth speed, and the game tries to indicate this with a pink wireframe. If you get about 15 meters away, from any light source, you begin to enter a stage where you can no longer plant even if you have enough room above the plant. Uh, you can no longer uh, grow seeds and so the game will protect you from placing seeds in a position where they have no hope of growing. But if you really want an underground or uh, an underground farm or a farm deep in your base, you can definitely have that with this mod. You just need to craft the underground trait into the seed of your choice. Uh -huh. 
We've discussed the standard edition of GMO farming, and this was designed primarily to expand the content of the base game and enhance creativity in farming. Many of these traits are very powerful, and you might be concerned that this mod could take, make things too easy for players. The Researcher Edition seeks to address this concern by treating these new traits and capabilities as challenges to unlock rather than skills that the player mysteriously learns by applying skill points. We'll go into greater detail on that edition in another video, and you can find the link to it in this video description on YouTube or in the README that comes packaged with the mod. We hope the GMO Farming mod enhances your farming and gaming experience for you and your players.